boop, 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 bobbing along. Hi, I'm Stuart. And I'm Emmy. We're child free after infertility and newly living on a narrow boat. We're sharing our adventure here and you're welcome to join us. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. Uh, it's actually quite late in the day. It's sort of 11.30ish, but it's surprisingly dark. Um, after our <laughs> really nice cruise yesterday, but misadventures with phone dropping and glass smashing. Yesterday, just as a recap, uh, Emmy tracked her phone in the canal uh, and we got it out still working, which was quite cool. Yeah, we're gonna ha we're gonna have it a week off this week together, and we're gonna stay in this really nice quiet spot that we've got between um, Berkhamstead and Hemel Hempstead. I'm gonna go to the workshop tomorrow, but it's about half an hour walk to Berkhamstead, so it's not too bad. I think maybe Thursday we're gonna move to Hemel Hempstead proper. Isn't that pretty? First day of my annual leave for the rest of the week. So of course the plan is chores. Um, we're walking into Berkhamstead, it's gonna take about half an hour. Gonna do a bit of laundry, um, cause we got a lot of stuff dirty with my phone dropping in the water for shenanigans. <laughs> we're gonna have some cake, charge our, our laptop, hopefully while we're having the cake and just explore Berkhamstead a bit. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Now. We're home. It was a nice, um, I mean, it was just sort of wandering the high street sort of day, uh, but it was nice to have some free time and explore and like just, yeah, see what the shops were. We were a bit spendy today. I got uh, a new book which unintentionally matches my nails. <laughs> thought we'd try these mooless moo pies so it's like a steak and ale pie but vegan uh, they were on offer actually but still spendy because they were in oh, waitrose yeah, two for seven pounds yes yeah, so they're normally four pound fifty we looked at it before we were like nope <laughs> um, three pound fifty somehow seems more reasonable this looks so good oh ho, ho, stew yeah a note to our future selves. We could share one pie and that would be plenty if you're having sides with it. <laughs> and then makes the um, price of it much more reasonable. Good morning. Uh, we wanted a cruise, but we've noticed that we are really banked again this morning. So, um, I'm just going to go check the lock again. Yeah, still a paddle up. I've put the other paddle up. Uh, we're, we're moving off today, which I'm sort of happy about to an extent, because this has been a bit of a frustrating spot in terms of, like, the water level just constantly going up and down. Um, this thing does look like it started kicking out a bit more so I wonder if that's got something to do with it but obviously we can't well we might not be able to move off until we refloat so uh, we, we we probably could get unbank ourselves it just depends on how how banked we are because it's a lot of boat to be banked 
we managed to get going without too much trouble. Woohoo! We were just about to come through this lock and a man came running up from over there, uh, yeah, over there, and said, basically, the next lock, the boat in there is grounded, um, and he's got four boats on the other side of that lock and can't get through because there's a boat stuck in the next lock. Um, and so we, he said to open all the paddles on this lock to let water through, and we're to stay in the lock for at least five to 10 minutes. He's gonna come back up to say when it's okay to come through. Um, yeah. So there's obviously something going on. We know this stretch is a bit sensitive anyway, but remember how this morning we were banked? Well, it turns out boats further down are even more banked, so they can't unbank themselves themselves. They're trying to come up the locks, and they've had to fill up the pound, or well, they've asked us to fill up the pound. Of course, we're already in the lock, to fill up the pound and that then means that the pound behind us is now sort of six to eight inches maybe probably more definitely more probably about a foot lower and so now those boats are grounded so i guess it's just going to have to pass up on the line So we ended up letting quite a lot of water through. Uh, so now it's low on the other side and quite full on this side. But all of us, the four boats trying to get through, the stuck boat, us, we're all through. <laughs> and apparently there have been problems uh, right from the summit at Berkhamstead and CRT are aware of letting water down to solve it all. <laughs> This lock is really narrow, so we're having to open both gates. Amy's doing a cool dance while doing it, though. This canal is so low. Every time I've tried to stop to pick Amy up, we've just had, we've just banked ourselves or heard, heard the propeller wang wanging against something, I'm like wanging against essentially an embankment. Um, it's a bit, of a bit of a bugger, but I suppose we we're going to have to do it sooner or later. Amy's probably already said, but there seems to have been some sort of issue with one of the, um, with the top of the flight. So essentially this is all one massive flight up to Marsworth Locks. Uh, so, yeah, Mars with Full Ox is the, basically the top of the ascent and then everything else is down from there uh, and all the locks have to be left open and people keep not doing it quite right but also like that last lock the paddles were Tommy tanked um, and you know that's that's not necessarily boaters misuse that's just age i think so yeah fun and games fun and games really see but there are some extremely fluffy cows in that field. They have the loveliest ears. That's Hemel Hempstead Station behind. Still Thursday. Uh, I've changed my hat just to uh, confuse Emmy when she's doing um, the video editing. All of these locks are well leaky, like this one isn't actually so bad.
We've arrived at Apsley. We've um, moored up. It's like just past Apsley Services. Um, and there's real moor mooring rings, which makes us feel like, are we allowed to be here? Why are they being so nice to us? Anyway, so we're moored up with mooring rings. It's so dark though. Um, it's a gloomy day. It's half past three. I think I've already said that. Um, feeling grubby. So just gonna rest now. Um, wanna get some drawing done. Uh, we've had some horrible soup. <laughs> Good morning. Thought I'd just show you our Apsley spot. It's Friday morning. Uh, we're, it's a nice wide spot. I think it's essentially meant to be a turning point, but there's nothing, again, saying you can't moor. Um, it looks like it was an old, there's a lot of like old, or a lot of industrial estates. There's a little, I'm not sure if that's a marina or not, but there's a little something there. There's a few boats moored up in and around. There's a nice looking locky area there with some old converted buildings so I'm gonna have a little wander around see what I can see and then uh, I think we're gonna go out for some lunch this one is really angry it keeps having a go at all the geese I'm gonna see if I can drag Emmy out now. We were gonna go Sainsbury's and see if we could grab a bite to eat in the cafe. Back from Sainsbury's, what have we got, Stu, that's extremely important in your hand there? Massive bag of jasmine rice. Woohoo! Woo Some new flavors, <laughs> curry bags. They didn't have our usual favorite. After me initially turning my nose up at the pub, <laughs> that's pretty much where we're sitting and working. Um, Emmy dropped it on me a little bit this afternoon and she wants to sit in the pub and do some work, so I'm going back to get my computer so I can do some website work. <laughs> Oh, we've just had such a nice afternoon at the paper mill. <laughs> is it? Is it there? <laughs> the pub that I initially went, oh, no, 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 look at that pub. Well, we just charged up our laptops, got loads of work done. Um, I'm very pleased. And we had a nice little bar snacky lunch. Chips and hummus. <laughs> and so, yeah, that feels really good. And now back to the boat. Good morning on Saturday. Good morning. Oh no, sorry, it's Sunday. Good morning. <laughs> We're up early on Sunday. We're going into London um, for, um, an, for an art market in Wood Green. Uh, so Stu's just making us packed lunch now. And bags are packed. We're... Uh accidentally inadvertently wearing matching outfits and colours. <laughs>
um, a good week off back to it next next week, which is tomorrow. <laughs> good night, everyone. Still thank you for what. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everyone, and thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you next week for more fun on the cut.